In this lesson, you're going to learn how to add uncertainty bars to your graph and also your lines of maximum and minimum slopes. As you can see, we've started with just a basic graph, uh, in this case again density, where we've got the mass in grams on the y-axis and our volume in cubic centimeters on the x-axis. And to add our uncertainty bars, there are several different ways we can go. For something like our mass, where we had a constant uncertainty with each measurement, it's quite easy. Just double click on the mass and click on the options and you see that there's a box here called error bar calculations. I'm going to click that and now there are two ways that I can add my uncertainty bars. I can add a fixed value or if you've propagated your uncertainties as a percentage, you can click on percentage. Since we use the same instrument for measuring each of these values of the mass, we'll be using a fixed value and we'll just say that our uncertainty was plus or minus one gram. And as we click done, there you can see that the uncertainty bars have shown for each of those data points. For my volume, since I used three different instruments, I have three different uncertainties for this data. So to add in those uncertainties, I'm going to go to Data, New Manual Column, and I'm going to call this Volume Uncertainty. And our short name will just be VC. I don't really need to worry about the units here because I've already got the units in cubic centimeters here. And there is my data column. And now I'll just expand that out and move over so that I can see my volume and now my volume uncertainties. And here for this, my uncertainty was plus or minus 0.2 for these first two. It was plus or minus 0.5 for the next two. And it was plus or minus 1 for the last one. Now to get those uncertainties to show up, I need to double click the volume column, click error bar calculations, but now since I'm not using a fixed value and I'm not using a percentage, I'm using these values that I've put in here, I'm going to choose use column data set volume uncertainty. And as I click done, now I have all of my uncertainties there on my graph. I'll rescale this just a little so that I can see all of those data points. Now, to add the lines of maximum and minimum slope, we need to go to Analyze and Model, and I'll choose Linear, since it is linear, and click OK. And here is this line. And just as we showed you in the last lesson, to manipulate this line, double click in the box and enable the line drag and click OK. Now I can move this to set my maximum uncertainty, which will be right about there. Remember, I'm wanting to get to this corner where my X uncertainty and Y uncertainty meet, and then do the same down here, going to this corner, and there would be now my maximum uncertainty. I'll double click that and close it so that it doesn't move, and now just repeat the whole process again with model, linear fit, Click OK, double click, and enable the line drag. And now I can move this to the intersection point here, and then do the same for the intersection point down here, and I'm going to disable the line drag again. And so now I can see that my 
data, let's open this up, that I had a slope of approximately 7.9 for my data. My minimum slope is 7.0, and my maximum slope is approximately 8.9. So now I can work out my uncertainties for my data.